There's been a lot of debate over uh, how much influence the government should have when it comes to parents making the decision of whether or not to immunize their children. Uh, how do you view this issue? Well, thanks for the opportunity, Trish. Nice to be with you. The way I view it is, as a Surgeon General, the best thing we can do is try and educate the public to make good decisions based on the best science. The science is clear here that every child should be immunized. However, when we consider ideological and theological issues, it becomes complex. But the individual rights sometimes then bleed over into society and cause a problem, like we have today with uh, the spread of this disease. And at that point, the government does have a compelling interest in keeping society healthy. How, does, how do the rules now stand? I mean, if you're going to send your child to, to public school or, or private school, for that matter, I remember having to submit my children's immunization forms uh, before they enrolled. Uh, isn't there some kind of a barrier there where basically you can't go to school without having gotten the shots? Yes and no. Most school districts still have those rules. Uh, there is no federal mandate for that, so it's done state by state. What often happens, though, is there are exemptions, exemptions because of personal beliefs, because of religion, because of ideology. And in some states, it's very easy to get a waiver. Others uh, make sure that you go to a doctor if it's a medical reason. So it's very uneven throughout the United States. And that creates problems because youngsters who don't get immunized become vectors of disease, and they spread disease besides adding to the cost of health care in our nation. So you know, it's very important that all children get immunized. Is that measles had been completely wiped out in this country. Yes. Until recently. It has been. It's true. Yeah, it, it has been. And unfortunately, uh, because of a lot of uh, spurious information, uh, people that are being driven by emotion and ideology, they're choosing not to uh, have their children immunized. And that really causes a problem for society. You know, but up until recently, I mean, the science was very much in question. And so it, it was logical that a lot of people debated whether or not this was, in fact, the healthiest thing for their children. Um, it, you know, some of that, the, those reports uh, have since been reversed. Dr. Carmona, however, uh, is there something to be said for making sure that these immunizations are done in stages so that a child is not getting all of it in one go. It's a very good point, and that's why various organizations who have responsibility, from the FDA to pediatricians and others who look at the dosing, will often look and see what the temporal relationships are between dosages to make sure that the child's immunity is built up gradually and not overwhelmed. So it's a very good point, and you should follow the directions of your pediatrician. Um, the CDC is warning that this outbreak is in fact going to spread. Do you agree? Do you foresee this becoming a real epidemic, a serious problem in this country? Well, it's a serious problem right now. As you said, you know, over the past half century, we've eradicated measles except for a sporadic outbreak here and there. And it's increasing now because we know that some children aren't being immunized. If we don't get this under control, it can spread. And the CDC is correct. This can cause a major health problem as well as an increased disease burden at a time when cost of care is very important to us now.